Well, he yes. is of us. Remember the sh picture of him shirtless yes. at the game? He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been the magic. We love Fitz magic. Mm -hmm. It will not be like that outside today, though. You will not be. Not magical. You will not no. be magical outside. No. A little bit warm. Yeah, definitely on the toasty side. Safe to say. Definitely find ways to beat the heat. That's the mission here uh, for your Wednesday. Good morning, Western New York. We've had some pretty dry weather as of late. We could actually use a little bit of rain. Uh, it's the 16 one hundredths of an inch of rain that you see here over the past nine days. That was in a thunderstorm briefly yesterday. But we had only seven measurable days of rainfall all month long. So we'll take what we can get. And we are running a rainfall deficit, by the way, here for uh, the period since since March the 1st. Typically, we'd have about a foot of rain. We've only had just a little bit more than 10 and 3 quarters of an inch. So farmers, gardeners, uh, those with landscaping interests, make sure you have uh, the uh, watering abilities ready to go here. Heat advisories are in effect for the day today. Mother Nature will help a little bit with a thunderstorm this afternoon with a downpour, especially north of Buffalo and well south and east towards Allegheny County. It turns less humid in the wake of our cold front that comes through uh, this evening as we head into later tonight, and then it's much more seasonable and much more reasonable for your Thursday. Humidity levels are back in check and temperatures are back in check as well into the 70s. 75 right now in Buffalo with the wind coming in all off the big lake out of the southwest and uh, the humidity levels are climbing already feels like it's near 80 in Dunkirk. The actual air temperature there at 78 71 in Wellsville right now 76 Batavia and in Amherst you're at 75 degrees. The water temperature is into the 60s so you might be able to get some natural cooling right along the uh, Lake Erie shoreline but I think you really have to be in the water. Don't forget to slip slop slap and wrap slip on the t-shirt slop on the sunscreen slap on the hat wrap on those sunglasses. Uh, southwest Westerly winds will come in at about 15 to 20 knots, a little bit of a chop on Lake Erie if you're going to be doing some boating today, if you are so lucky. Heat advisories are in effect. As I mentioned, it will feel at times like it's in the upper 90s away from the lake. Now, Buffalo, you're going to be naturally cooled a little bit by that breeze off of Lake Erie, and you'll be stabilized by that air that comes in off the water as well. So the thunderstorm risk is uh, minimal in downtown Buffalo versus, say, where it's going to be happening here over Niagara Falls. Let's take you hour by hour shapes up this way. You're good to go here this morning with that hazy sunshine, but the instability will build into this afternoon as the front makes its approach. There will be some of those thunderstorms developing, I'd say after two or three o'clock. Now, one or two of these could be locally strong and gusty and produce torrential rain. The thunderstorms move east into the Finger Lakes later this afternoon and into this evening, and the sky here in Western New York will start to clear. And again, it will turn much more comfortable with those breezes coming in out of the west versus the southwest tomorrow morning starts with sunshine and into the afternoon we'll see just a few roly poly billowy cumulus clouds adding to the beauty of our sky much more comfortable for tomorrow today it's hot 88 on average a little bit cooler near lake erie but head inland and you're flirting with the low 90s in many spots tonight we're looking at some of that partial clearing and it will be comfortable the overnight low temperature at 59 there's your super seven day forecast 88 the top temp today 77 for tomorrow with clouds and sun mixed top notch for friday then the heat returns to start the weekend